This is a house. This is a boat. This is a crane. No, it's a hotel. Bro, I know what a crane looks like, don't. <laughs> nah, it's actually a hotel. This is a hotel. This is the Feral the Crane Hotel in Amsterdam. And yes, you can sleep here. Yes, I will be sleeping here tonight. And yes, this was expensive. So yeah, just um, support me by watching this video, I guess. So the owner texted me a code to enter the building and I thought I'd film a cool shot mixing between my phone and my camera, but the audio was rubbish. So uh, let's just ignore that. Hey, now I gotta find my key. I don't know. I still don't have my room key, but I don't know. I'm gonna. Where's my room? I don't know where my room key is. What is? What is this? What kind of lift is this? This is definitely the most unique lift I've ever been in my life. I don't know what floor I'm on. What's in that box? Oh, there's a key in it. Oh, <laughs> it's got my name. I swear to God. Oh. oh my. Um, so we haven't even seen the room yet and my only key to my room is gone. So I have to find someone that works here, otherwise I can't get into my room. So um, we came all the way out to Amsterdam for nothing. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, thank you guys. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is Edwin. He is the owner of this hotel and a very interesting character. Trust me, we'll be seeing a lot more of him throughout this video. So I told Edwin about my lost key and he almost tried to kill me. Nah, I'm just kidding. He's a super nice guy. He gave me a new key and he sent me on my way. So we're almost there now. The journey is not over. Let's go, we've got another lift to go in. Come on. This is cozy. Let me show you how close this guy is to me. <laughs> this is so high. All right, so we've arrived in my room and um, there's one thing that like I need to do. I just need to do it. What was it? Room tour! Let's go, baby! Room tour! Hello, welcome to my crib. As you can see, this is place is the uh, secret room, sir. We've got a chair here that currently has all my stuff. We have like some snacks and stuff. Champag, champagne. I'm definitely not gonna be touching that. Another chair, an owl. Bathroom. We've got a bathroom, we've got a toilet. We've got some tissue here. I thought we were in Amsterdam. Who let a cute guy in my hotel room? <laughs> uh, shower, here's a shower. Here's the view from my toilet. So like when I'm showering over here, I can see people walking past. So that's kind of, that's kind of a vibe. So this is like the back room, but it is pretty comfortable. I mean, I can just sit here and think about stuff, you know, like why did Arsenal bottle the league or why am I so funny? <laughs> okay, now let's go see what's upstairs. The bedroom, as you can see, we have a golden bathtub. So, you know, we can, um, can have a bath, I guess. We've got, what is this? Who let a cute guy in my hotel room? You know what time it is when you see a new bed. Boom. After pretty much breaking his bed, I thought I'd pay Edwin a little visit to find out more about his hotel. Edwin sent me the list of people that have stayed here. I thought it was going to be like a few names. It's over like a, 200 different names you sent me. 100 million DJs. How long have you had this place? Um, I started it 11 years ago. So. The conversation was flowing really well and I was really getting to know more about Edwin and his cream. After looking around the hotel and seeing multiple threats, there was one burning question I had to ask. Why do you want to kill me? Everywhere it says... Because you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> if we can solve all problems, people are happy. Not be afraid for problems. A problem is a challenge for me. And if you have a problem, solve the problem. But only with communication you can solve everything. Wow. You're a very interesting man. I like you. <laughs> I like you. I like you. <laughs> I saw your eyes and oh, he's one of the kind. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice guy. You know, I thought, you know, we're going to come here, it's going to book a hotel, it's a crane hotel, it's different. Um, I'm just gonna see like what it's like being here, but now like, I've just met Edwin, who obviously is the owner of this place, and it's like, this is dropping like gems on me. All right guys, listen to this, right? Me and Mercer were just sitting here chilling in the hotel, thinking what to do, and uh, I got a message from Edwin, and he said, heading to Castricum for a party with DJs, do you wanna join? Edwin. Edwin. A couple of friends of mine who played in a crane, they have a small private party. Are you driving? I can drive, yeah. Perfect, we can go together then. All right, see you in a bit. Bye. See you. We're going to a party! <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> so we met up with Edwin 10 minutes later and it was time to head to this amazing party. What has this video become? What's your, what's your favorite like gift that someone's given you? Do you have one? From like, that stayed in the hotel? I don't know, his girlfriend, I think. <laughs> 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 That's a good gift. Oops, Oops. careful. Okay, man. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like, it's like get out, isn't it? Do you know what? In a random alley. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> 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 
Now I'm a bit more. Yeah. Maybe I can give you this as a gift. Oh. It's a Dutch, it's a Dutch uh, for, uh, for uh, Dutch parties. I can have it. Dutch yes, party. thank you. Thank you so much. I'm gonna write a message on this on this piece of paper. I'm gonna add to it. I don't know what's going on. Like I've got this, I've got this like knitted like beanie. I'm not gonna lie, surviving there. Yeah. Woo. That was an experience. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. Would be a rapper. No. Rapper. rapper. Yeah. What? Yeah. Stormzy. Stormzy. Yes. You know Stormzy. Uh, I heard. Uh, I heard. Yeah. Yeah. That's me. Man, try to say better than me. Tell my man, shut up. Wait, wait, I'm gonna look. Best in the scene. Tell my man, shut up. Come then, uh, you shut up. What are you doing here? Uh, I have a show. Okay. Where? Club 22. Where is it? Okay. So after an amazing party, we decided to wrap up our night and head back to the hotel to get some well-needed sleep. The next morning. All right, guys, it's the next morning right now, and I just received a text from Edwin basically saying that they're bringing us breakfast into our rooms in about 15 minutes. I am excited to see what kind of breakfast they give us because usually in a hotel, like you have to go downstairs and have like a all you can eat breakfast buffet, but obviously not in this Korean hotel. So, yeah, just gonna wait to see what kind of breakfast they give us and um, see what we can eat. All right, breakfast time. Hello. Good morning. morning. Here's your breakfast. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. Have a wonderful sunny day today. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm excited to say to try this out. All right. So we've got our breakfast here, and it's breakfast in bed. We're living luxurious because if I'm paying this much for a room, I need the best experience. Even though they literally just handed it to me at the door, and me and Mercer had to set this whole thing up. This is my breakfast. Um, I have peppermint tea that I made myself. Uh, we've got some pedo chocolate, some croissants. Yeah, this is my breakfast. As I ate the breakfast in bed, I couldn't help but think how great of an experience this was, and how great of a guy Edwin is. It goes to show you never know who you're gonna meet, whether it's the owner of a crane hotel who's gonna take you to a party and actually bring you in and have fun with you, or if it's this guy who thinks I'm Stormzy. I don't it, I don't know why he believed that. It's, it's ridiculous. Anyways, bye.